So. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am currently COVID positive. <laughs> I got the PCR result this morning and it said that it was positive. So the story started last week on Monday where it was our first day coming back on campus teaching. We were excited. It was the innovation week. Basically, you had like a visit to this schloss or like a castle in Austria where the sound of music was filmed and we were working on a project for them for like the whole week and at the end of the day we had this hangout session with some of my friends we were at this restaurant two of my friends that I was with the whole day got tested positive during the day still on monday i actually took a pcr test during the lunch break because i just got back from budapest um the night before the next day on tuesday it showed me that it was negative so i took an antigen test hari selasa juga just to make sure that if i'm you know because i was like exposed with them for the whole day my antigen test came back negative but I'm not sure if it's just like my suggestion or anything. I was like really overthinking because like I was with them for the whole day. So it got to my mind and then I was kind of feeling like I'm having like a sore throat or something. But I'm not sure if it's like, you know, if it's like a symptom or anything. So I kept testing myself for four times. Hari Rabunya, aku mau make sure. So I took a PCR, another PCR test. Dan hari Kamis datang PCR itu dan it was... Um, negative, no, not positive yet. <laughs> I had to take another test on Friday, the antigen, because aku mau ketemu teman-teman aku di hari Sabtu. So I also took a test on Friday. That week, I took like four tests, two PCR and two um, antigen, and they were all they all came negative. Even though I still have like a sore throat and like l light cough, but I was like making sure that I was negative, and I was negative. My cough got worse. Aku kayak batuk batuk gitu, dan sampai ke batuk berdahak. Tapi aku mikir kayak oh maybe it's just a cold, karena uh, ada dua teman aku yang lagi cold juga. And I just thought oh emang lagi musimnya kali or whatever because I literally took four tests. Karena aku tes empat kali and it was all negative. Terus dari situ aku kayak, okay, I have to be like very careful with anything. Jadi aku kayak um, keep some distance and whatever. I always use my mask all the time. Straight forward to this week. Hari ini tuh hari Rabu, and I just got my um, PCR result this morning. I have been sick for like one and a half days. My throat is killing me, tapi ini tetap batuk berdahak juga. Jadi hari Senin kemarin itu aku kuliah as always. Aku kan kuliah cuma hari Senin, Selasa, Rabu. So hari Senin itu kuliah dan hari yang paling paling busy in my schedule itu hari kami, ah, hari Senin dan hari Selasa. So I went to my university on Monday. I hung out with everyone. We were sitting outside for lunch break and it was really nice. Everything was fine. I was like completely healthy. I felt nothing wrong oh, I wanted to take the test also aku mau tes hari Senin itu karena aku biasanya emang rutin tes every week kan tapi karena tesnya tuh udah tutup karena aku kuliah dari jam 8 sampai no, aku kuliah dari jam 9 sampai jam 7 malam jadi aku kayak nggak sempat karena uh, test stationnya itu buka dari jam 9 pagi sampai jam uh, jam 6 so Aku nggak bisa, I didn't make it until malamnya hari Senin tuh pas aku mau tidur, aku tuh nggak bisa tidur sampai jam setengah tigaan gitu karena I just felt like kayak when you know that you're you're gonna be sick, kayak feeling kayak oh, kayaknya gue mau sakit nih gitu. Nah aku tuh orangnya selalu ngadu ke Stefan karena kayak hal kecil apapun tuh aku bisa ngomong ke dia. Jadi pas hari itu aku uh, WhatsApp dia malam-malam kayak oh my god I'm I have like a very bad headache because kayak, kayak pusing dan kayak kepala aku tuh berat gitu and I just couldn't fall asleep and I was just thinking the whole time like anjir gimana ya kalau gue corona apa gue corona ya karena kan waktu itu aku masih batuk juga dan aku tuh kepikiran kayak gimana nih besok kuliah karena aku hari Kamis besok itu bakal ada ulangan jadi kayak oh anjir gimana dong kalau misalnya gue nggak bisa ikut ulangan bla 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 I was just overthinking jadi aku nggak bisa tidur I tried so hard to fall asleep dan aku 
mikir kayak oke okay, kita tidur aja sekarang and then let's see in the morning kalau misalnya aku baikan kita tes dulu and skip like the first hours of university terus kita bisa ke university gitu kan but in the morning I was still feeling really sick and I felt like really weak in general and then I decided to okay let's just go test and then see the result and let's just Um, join university online karena di kampus aku itu masih hybrid jadi you can still join online kalau misalnya kamu lagi karantina or anything jadi I just decided to okay let's just follow online went to the test station I took two tests at the same time and then like the antigen test was like straight like immediately went positive like the T line was just like there like it was like dark red. Stefan said, okay, if your antigen test is positive, because I'm also showing symptoms, my PCR test will highly likely be positive as well. And I just thought, okay, you know what? Maybe this is the time and it's okay, you know? I emailed my university saying that, you know, my antigen test is positive and I'm showing symptoms. I might not be able to, you know, make it to the exam so yeah basically that's where i'm at right now first thing that i saw in the morning was my pcr test and it was positive and yeah i'm feeling all right i'm feeling okay untungnya ada classmate aku yang tinggal kayak one minute away from me jadi dia baik banget ngebeliin aku kayak food for me to survive today and tomorrow karena di austria tuh ini enggak enaknya it's like really hard to order anything online kayak kalau di indonesia sekarang udah enak ada gojek and whatever you can just order food anytime anywhere whenever you like whatever But di Austria tuh kayak susah banget Apalagi kayak order groceries It's still super hard Because you have to book like the exact time Jadi ada timetable-nya gitu Dan aku cuma dapat slot hari Jumat Jam 7 malam Which is like Really late I don't know if I can survive for that long But yeah Why is it so hard to order food? It's like I don't know Gojek itu kayak holy grail and lifesaver buat orang-orang Indonesia So don't take it for granted guys, Gojek is life <laughs> Untungnya aku nggak demam tapi suhu badan aku tuh kayak sedikit anget gitu Dan apa ya Like in general I'm okay, it's not like really bad or anything Kalau aku harus deskripsiin Rasanya tuh kayak capek aja gitu, kayak exhausted Kayak lemes Ngerti gak sih? kayak lemes dan tadi pas aku kayak shampooan aja uh, kan aku kayak nah napas dua detik gitu kan pas lagi ngebilas shampoonya itu tuh kayak ya kayak cepet ngos-ngosan gitu nafasnya Hi everyone, hello. Ini officially hari ketiga aku self quarantine. I'm feeling alright. I'm feeling so much better. I don't have any fever anymore. I mean, I can still feel that I'm a bit warm. Dan nafas aku kayak masih ngos-ngosan dan masih ada batuk berdahak di hidung dan di ujung mulut sana. But yeah, I'm feeling better thankfully. Walaupun masih agak pusing sedikit, but yeah, it's okay. Kalau di Australia itu, by the way, kita nggak dapat obat-obatan dari pemerintah. I just took um, an ibuprofen satu di hari pertama karena benar-benar aku kayak pusing banget dan aku takutnya makin panas, so I took an ibuprofen. Tapi ada di tendat, aku benar-benar cuma makan apel doang dan makan makanan dan minum air yang banyak and that's it. So the current regulation in Austria when you have COVID is that you will get tested PCR after after five days of quarantine dan kalau kalian setelah tes itu CT-nya over 30 you can already go out walaupun masih positif but if your CT shows that you're under 30 walaupun kalian udah negatif you still have to quarantine for five more days and then after 10 days in total it's free you can already go out without a test anymore, right? So, I just got the SMS tadi pagi buat tes di hari kelima, which is in two days. I can already book the appointment to get tested in like a drive through testing stations. Tapi, the problem is I don't have a car nor a buy. And I asked them, like, um, I cannot go there because I don't have a car. And then they said, okay, you can go by foot. 
and I just checked like the test stations are so far the closest one is at Oil Park which is like <laughs> aku gak tau kalau aku jalan ke sana tuh kayak satu jam kali it's 3.3 kilometers away and it takes 15 minutes if I walk there from here I mean I can just walk there maybe I don't know jadi sebelumnya itu biasanya ada yang datang ke tempat kamu dan take the PCR test biasanya orang-orang ambulan but mereka tuh katanya lagi collapse because as I mentioned lagi banyak banget covid di Austria dan di Salzburg juga lagi tinggi so mereka nggak ada orang yang bisa datang ke rumah uh, pasienin covid satu-satu buat take the PCR test So, ini Stefan tuh bilang dia nggak percaya So, I will Jadi ada orang Indonesia Dia baru pindah ke Austria Kebetulan aku udah lama DM-DM-an sama mbak itu Dan dia barusan ngedrop makanan Kos-kosan banget Ini tangga segitu doang Biasanya kayak aku super kuat Oh my god Baik banget Ya ampun Oh, dikasih buah-buahan Oh my god, so, so nice Mbak Gintari, thank you so much So nice of you Ada strawberry, jeruk, sama anggur Oke okay guys, as I said Nggak mungkin banget ada yang bisa kesini Karena lagi overload Dan mereka kayak ngerekomendasiin Kalau kita isolasi aja 10 hari Without any test Dan habis 10 hari itu kayak bisa keluar daripada kita harus nunggu orang datang ke sini karena it might take even longer than 10 days so, optionnya buat aku sekarang it's either aku bisa borrow sepeda pinjam sepeda ke siapa gitu or I'll just wait for 10 days which is gonna be until the 1st of April yeah, that's the update for today dan karena aku belum makan, I wanna eat some fruits Hari ini hari Sabtu, udah malam, it's dark outside Dan aku lagi happy banget, padahal kayak 5 menit yang lalu aku tuh lagi berantem sama Stefan Karena dia tuh bilang kayak, just walk there Don't you wanna be outside? I would just walk there and stuff like that Terus aku bilang kayak, yeah because you're not sick Imagine if you're sick and you're telling me to walk for 1 hour 20 minutes What if I pass out? on the way there terus tiba-tiba teman aku bilang kalau temennya bisa minjemin sepeda so I'm like thank god aku bisa test tomorrow now I don't really mind if my city tomorrow is gonna be under 30 karena besok adalah hari pertama dimana aku bisa keluar lagi di cuaca yang sangat bagus ini dan bersepeda alongside Salzah River so yeah, I'm really excited kalaupun misalnya Aku harus karantina lagi lima hari It's okay Actually a lot of things happen today Tapi aku kayak nggak nge-vlog I don't know why Aku kayak tiba-tiba lupa Dan aku baru kepikiran lagi barusan Karena dari pagi tuh aku kayak sibuk gitu I try to be productive Oke okay, dari pagi kerja uh, di computer For my group work I did some presentations And ya yeah, all that stuff jadi finally groceries aku udah sampai tadi uh, sebenarnya kan janjinya tuh kayak jam 7 tapi dia datangnya tuh kayak jam 3 jam 3 atau jam 2an gitu jadi it was like really nice bagnya masih ada kayak di belakang situ if you can see it masih ada di situ cuma yang kayak frozen frozen atau keju keju udah aku masukin di kulkas begitu aku lanjut belajar di komputer nonton youtube videos i cooked For the first time again, I cook some pasta, some spaghetti with tomato sauce. Actually, some of my friends visited me and then they brought like this cute chocolate thing that you can put with milk to make like a milk chocolate thing. And it's really cute. I will make it tomorrow, but it's like... Oh my god, and then kita kayak ngobrolnya jauh-jauhan gitu Dia kayak di ujung sana dan aku kayak di balik pintu But like, it's so nice that they visited me It was such a thoughtful act, I would say Dan aku bakal kayak inget terus sih Bener-bener kayak, they're so nice ya. Yeah. Dan sekarang juga, um, aku kayak kepikiran tiba-tiba buat uh, nge-whatsapp temen aku yang tinggal di dorm 
aku nanya ke dia ada nggak sih kira-kira uh, temennya yang punya sepeda yang bisa aku pinjem kemarin dan dia langsung kayak oke okay, I'll chat in the group I'll try to let someone know in the group like I just didn't think kayak kalau tinggal di dorm tuh ada grupnya kan jadi kayak lebih gampang kalau misalnya ada apa-apa dan tiba-tiba tuh kayak within seconds dia bilang oke okay, I got it Oh my god, kayak alhamdulillah aku nggak harus jalan besok. Oh my god, it would be like very exhausting. Dan kalau misalnya city-nya di bawah tiga di bawah tiga puluh, kayak bakal marah banget. But like tomorrow, I think I will be okay. I will just see it as a breath of fresh air. Setelah lima atau enam hari deh, enam hari aku. Oh my god, enam hari langsung lasi sendirian di rumah. So yeah. Gonna be exciting. Good morning everyone. I got the bike and I'm ready to go to the test station. Yeah, weather is good. It's sunny. It's really nice. I have my sunglasses with me and the way there is gonna be really beautiful. It's quite a ride. I swear I wouldn't be able to make it if I'm if I would be walking right now. It's quite cold. My ears are like freezing, and my nose is like runny. I'm just taking a break again. This is by the river. This is the the way for the bike. Just also there, if you can see that. Um, yeah. Oke, okay, jadi aku udah sampai di tempat drive-in stationnya. Kok kalian bisa lihat tenda gede itu. Antrian mobilnya harus muter sampai ke tenda gede di situ. Aku benar-benar satu-satunya orang yang naik sepeda. Semua orang naik mobil. Oh my god, everyone! <laughs> I just got my result like 20 minutes ago, but I have an online class that's why i haven't been able to talk in real time first i got like this certificate that is saying that i'm still positive so that's quite fun and then i asked my friends how can they get or how can they find their ct result actually i had to wait for like another 10 minutes until they sent me another text and then i got another text after like 10 minutes yang bilang kalau ct aku itu lebih dari atau sama dengan 30 which means that i can end my quarantine like really soon if i read that this message they sent me it literally said that Based on my test result, you are now released from the official quarantine. So that is super exciting. I think I can already go out. Oh my god. Jadi perjalanan kemarin tuh kayak gak sia-sia gak sih? Oh my god, I'm so happy. Like all my friends are like really, really sweet. Mereka kayak, hey, do you know that? Um, apa namanya rule quarantine-nya tuh udah ganti jadi katanya setelah lima hari aku udah bisa keluar uh, walaupun aku masih positif tapi aku harus tetap pakai masker kemanapun so like it's ah uh, that's so nice ini aku bisa keluar deh guys oh my god oh. so I decided to go to university I'm getting ready right now the weather is really nice outside I'm so excited so I'll bring my camera I think I will vlog there it's I'm just super happy right now I'm super lucky too but I got to end this quarantine after like six days I'm gonna catch the train now and see you on the campus <laughs> Thank you.
was a really intense day because we had this experience design day on campus and I did not regret going to campus because it was really fun it was an extraordinary day I would say it would be really different if I would be online because there there were three people that are still online most of the students are on campus it was a real offline experience and I'm very very thankful um, I got to experience it and it was fine and they were really happy that I could join them I bought a disinfectant before at the train station because I want to disinfect like the whole flat because my flatmate is coming back and I just want her to feel safe and also for me so yeah I will do that now and maybe I will take a rest later mm -hmm.